Do you think that we would have dated each other in high school? No. I don't want to be a vampire because I want to live forever. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> I made her cry, guys. I did it. I did it. I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we are 27 Travels. And today, our video for you is going to be a little relationship Q&A because our six-year anniversary just passed. Yeah! It was so much fun. We had the best day ever. We thought it would be fun to do like a little like relationship Q&A because on Instagram and on here, we always get questions about our relationship. And we just thought this would be like a good time to answer them. We went on our Instagram a few days ago and put a little question box up um, and just said basically, do you have any relationship questions you want answered? And we definitely got a few, so we're gonna answer them now. I just need to find the questions. So give me one second. <laughs> Eventually. Um, all right, so we're gonna start with um, the easiest question. How long have you two been together? Gabby, well, drum roll. Hard question to answer, drum roll, but we've been together for six years, which is why we just celebrated our six year anniversary. So six years, even though we did meet like six months before that, but yes. we just like met, talked, and then didn't start dating till like a bunch of months later. We also have YouTube videos about like the whole story of how we met and our first date and things like that. So if you're interested in like going into more detail, I'll make sure to link those down below. So we're not gonna go into it here, but yes, Six years we have been together. Okay, so the next question is, what was the moment that y'all knew y'all wanted to live with each other? Ooh, Ooh, that is actually a good question. I feel like we kind of knew early on, but we didn't actually move in together until almost like two years into our relationship. Um, but I remember like one of our first dates, we, like went to Ikea together mm -hmm. and we were like just walking around being like, oh my God, like one day when we have an apartment together, like we're gonna get this and we're gonna do this. Like we were like fantasizing about it but we actually like didn't fully do it until almost like two years, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like when you're in a relationship with someone and you really like them, you like think about things like that. Like, oh, what would it be like if we lived together? Like, what would it be like if we got married one day? Whatever it is that you think about. But then it got to the point in our relationship where like I was living at my dad's house and Shanna was living with her roommates and some of her roommates were like moving out, like things were changing over there. And we got to the point where we were like, okay, like. Both of us are like riding the train day and night to see each other. We both are basically never home. And if we are home, we're with the other person. So I think that that's when Shannon and I got like more serious about being like, I think we need to think about actually moving in together. And maybe now is actually the perfect time and the right time for us to do it. Like we were in no rush. Like we felt like it needed to be right. Yeah. And like when it felt right, that's when we moved in together. Does working together, especially in social media, affect your relationship? Um, Absolutely yes. yes. The answer is yes. It's actually one of the only things that Shanna and I ever argue about because working in social media means that like we always have to be, especially together, like having an account together means that we both have to be on the same page all the time. And then sometimes in life you're not on the same page. Like we have different creative ideas and when we don't agree on something, that is like, it obviously affects our relationship and we've had to learn over the years how to like let that affect our relationship less and realize that like we have to have a separation of like, this is a work issue and this is a personal issue. But that can be really hard when like social media is showing your personal life. So like then we have to be like, okay, is that thing work or is that thing our personal life? And that's where it can get really complicated. So I would say definitely it can affect your relationship and does affect ours. Gabby and I always try and make sure we have like a good boundary of, okay, like this is work this is not work, or we're gonna show this, but we're not gonna show this, or we're gonna film this aspect of our trip, but maybe not this aspect or whatever, just so that we can kind of differentiate like what is like our personal life and things and what's different from work. So definitely we do get into arguments about it. However, I will say that it is the most fun job in the world, like working with your partner and getting to experience like travel and going to events and things like that with like the person that you love is amazing. So even though maybe sometimes we argue about it, maybe sometimes it causes fights between us, I do think that I don't think we would want to be doing any other job. So I absolutely love our work even if we argue about it sometimes. <laughs> Next question, whenever one of you gets upset at the other one, how do you resolve slash talk through conflict? Okay, I think this is a good um, follow up question for the last one. So I think for Gabby and I, both of us need different things when we're upset. Like when I'm upset, I like to be like left alone for a little bit, like I need my space. So I like to take time for myself and then like once I'm over it and I'm calm, then I can like talk or whatever. Otherwise I just get like really angry and mean and I don't wanna be like be mean to Gabby, especially like <laughs> saying things like I don't mean. But Gabby, on the other hand, needs like the opposite. So like if I take too much space for myself, then she feels like I'm ignoring her or I'm upset at her or whatever. So it's a very like, 
fine line between like what we need and want for ourselves but also what the other person needs yeah. and wants. I agree with this and I think also because we're so different like we're very much Shanna and I are very much opposites like when she needs her space and she, when she's upset I literally need the opposite like I need to be like coddled told that everything is okay like taking care of like told that I'm loved and so sometimes when we like are handling conflict we like both need to like do a little bit of what we want and then also give the other person what they want or try and sense like okay in this situation like Shanna really needs her space or like okay in this situation Gabby really needs to be taken care of and like have to like kind of meet in the middle and I think that that's really hard so I think that conflict is always something that if like we do have an argument we're learning how to like fix it in the best way that works for us and yeah. that's always difficult in any relationship like all good relationships take work and take you actually dealing with your problems when they come up. Also, yeah. Gabby and I are both very, very stubborn as people. We are both <laughs> extremely stubborn. So whenever we get into a conflict it, or argue or disagree about something, both of us always make it a really big deal because we're both stubborn. Like, I cannot say sorry. I cannot say that I'm wrong because I don't think I'm ever wrong. And Gabby just like cannot give in because she also thinks that she's right and like her yeah. feelings are valid. So it's just like, whenever we get into an argument, it's always like for us, like it feels like a really big deal. And then like five minutes later, we're like, that was dumb. Yeah, like we both are very stubborn. So like in the moment until like whatever moment is over, we're both like this. Yeah. And then like three hours later, we'll both be like, well, that was really stupid wasn't it okay the next one is what is your fave thing about the other one oh my god there's like one a billion things <laughs> one, one thing, thing? Okay, let's let's challenge ourselves to just pick like one thing like, okay because obviously we could say like a billion things okay. but let me think I already thought of mine okay go ahead then you go okay one of my favorite things about Shanna and I hope that this doesn't sound weird but you said one thing so I, I have like a thousand things I right. love about Shanna but I'm gonna go with the one and I'm gonna say I love Shanna's resourcefulness like, I feel like you're such a resourceful person. You always know how to handle a problem, how to talk to someone, how to, like, I don't know. It's just, like, everything about you, you, like, always can solve anything that comes your way. And I think that that's so impressive and amazing. Thanks, honey. That's really <laughs> sweet. Um, okay, my favorite thing about Gabby, if I'm only picking one thing, is I think that she is genuinely, like, a super, super nice person. And I think that like that is something that me, I grew up with like a family who is not very affectionate. Like I like if people meet me, I think that they might think that like I'm very like direct or cold or something just because I like say what I mean and I like I don't really take anyone's feelings or whatever into consideration. I'm like I'm just this is just how it is. It is how it is. But I think after dating Gabby, I've realized that like you know, it's nice to consider other people's feelings and certain things. And Gabby's just like so sweet and so nice to literally every single person, living thing, an animal, a plant. Like she's just like so sweet to everyone. And sometimes I'm like, I'm just like, I think I need to be a little bit more. No, like that. You're perfect the way you are. That was so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Give me a second. I'm gonna hug. No one look. Gabby's crying. I'm not crying. I made her cry, guys. I did it, I did it. Also, I think we're both on our periods right now, so this might may, may not be the best time to film a video about our relationship. <laughs> or, or it is the best time because right. we're gonna be so brutally honest. Exactly, there you go. You're just getting real and raw right here. <laughs> what are the biggest areas of conflict in your relationship? Hmm. All right, well, we kind of already said like um, our, like having a social media presence together definitely brings up issues um, for us just because like we said we're both stubborn we both want things done our own way and when we don't get things done our own way or we have to like compromise with the other one sometimes we don't agree so definitely that but let me try and think about other things besides having social because we definitely argue about other things oh but, yeah um, I think just in general us being stubborn stubbornness is, is a problem <laughs> because the smallest problem like oh you didn't put this away the right way like sometimes for us can turn to like a big thing because we're both so stubborn and then we don't want to admit that either of us were wrong or the other yeah, one is right like, or no whatever. i didn't yes i did no i didn't yes i did no i didn't yes yeah. i did and then neither of us like will drop it because mm -hmm. we're both being stubborn about it so yeah i would have said the same thing that us being stubborn is the air is it something that makes us have conflict what's a minor pet peeve you might have about each other let me find oh my god this one's hard for me but very easy for yeah very out. easy for me because i get <laughs> i get annoyed very easily like oh i thought of one okay i'm gonna say my thing about gabby first the minor pet peeve about gabby is that she leaves things like a jar or things like out where they're not supposed to be and because I'm like like very like organized and neat and stuff like that bothers me so like sometimes I'll just like let it go like if she gets up from her chair in the kitchen like she doesn't push the chair back in you know what I mean like the chair is out so I just like push it back in I'm like it's fine it's all good 
Or like she, if you can see her nightstand over there. She has like a billion things. Like, oh, there's out, my lip gloss. Out on her nightstand. nightstand. And my nightstand, maybe I can zoom in when I'm editing this. It's like perfectly clear. You know, like there's just like some things. Or like Gal would be like, I can't find my lipstick. Or I can't find my keys. <laughs> or I can't find my this. And I'm like, did you check here? Whatever. So it's just like she kind of like leaves things out or like her, the, the closet door will be slightly open or her drawer like won't be closed in all the way. I'm like, why can't you just like push it? I don't get it. Just like push it in, close it, push the chair back in. Some of those things were a read. Just the other day, <laughs> I had thought for three months that I lost our cartridge for Mario Kart on the Switch. So I was like, I have to buy a new one. I lost it. I looked everywhere. Shanna goes to look for it, opens the Mario Kart case, and there's my cartridge. And I'm like, was, did you not look in the case for the game? Like, did, like what? I swear I did. I just didn't see it. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> my number one Shanna pet peeve would be that she picks up her nails after I've just painted her nails perfectly to perfection. Chef's kiss, and I'm like, Shanna, don't pick out your nails, and she's just like, um, just so everyone knows, I used to bite my nails, okay? Like for my whole childhood, I bit my nails, and ever since like I was like in college, I taught myself to stop biting my nails. So now I don't bite my nails anymore, but I just like still pick out my cuticles, and if they bother me, I can't help it. Like they bother me, I have to pick at them. So I'm not always picking out my nail polish. Sometimes I'm picking out my cuticles, and sometimes the nail polish gets ruined in the process. Okay, regardless, it drives me crazy. Okay, next question is, how do you keep the passion alive? Ooh. Ooh, how do we get the passion I mean, I do, think, I do think that's a good question because I feel like a lot of times like people will be like, oh, you've been together for X amount of years. Like, you know, how do you keep things like fresh and new and whatever? Um, well, I would say our entire lifestyle is like fresh and new. So I think we don't have a problem with the passion because we're always doing something new, something fun, something exciting, whatever. <laughs> we're always in a new environment, like doing something crazy because we travel so often and we travel to like, you know, places that we've never been to before where we're going to have like a brand new experience. So I feel like that's like our just our lifestyle is just like we never know what we're gonna do next so it's always fun yeah a hundred percent okay so I just googled like relationship questions and something from Oprah came up so I trust Oprah we're just gonna find some questions oh this is a good one what's something you used to believe about relationships but no longer do I think that's a good question I can answer that okay I used to believe that good couples never fight Literally, like I was like somehow made to believe that if you fight, like you're a horrible couple about anything. But obviously as an adult now in a relationship, I know that that's not true. And actually I think that fighting is healthy because if you don't fight, then you never solve any problems. Hence your relationship really won't work because you don't know how to problem solve if something bad does happen. Yeah, and you're also not like moving forward because I think that like you need to like deal with things to be able to move forward. And also like a relationship is like two completely different people. It's like. I'm sure you have, we have, like, we have things in common. I'm sure other relationships, those two people have things in common. But there's also so many things that, like, are different and, like, you're an individual at the same time. So, like, it's weird to not argue because there's so many opportunities for you to not agree or, like, not see eye to eye on something. And, like, it's, I think it's how you handle the arguments or the disagreements is what makes or breaks a couple. Do you think that we would have dated each other in high school? No. <laughs> Definitely. I, I think about this all the time. No way. For me, here's the problem. Shanna says that she wasn't cool, but she was a lot cooler than me, meaning we wouldn't have dated. Do you know what I mean? Like, because like, even though she like liked nerdy things, she was on the dance team, she was athletic, she had lots of girlfriends, right? And I ran the anime club and was emo and only wore black and only wore skirts that were a bright color with all of my black. I literally would only wear neon and black eyeshadow. Um, I wore bottle caps around my neck, not an exaggeration. And I had a lot of friends, but like everyone was as equally cool as me. And, and I thought that I was really cool. I did not think I was weird at all. And I still don't, by the way, because um, I love myself and I still like the same exact things that I did while I dressed like that. So I just don't think it would have happened. Like maybe we could have been friends, but like I was also a lot in the closet. So like in a magical world where we both weren't in the closet, I still think we wouldn't have dated at that point in our lives. Like I feel like with Shanna that we met at the right time. You know, yeah. it, it feels like tr it felt truly like we met at the right time in both of our lives for us to be able to like watch our love blossom. That sounds cheesy. But I don't know because like I first of all I went to Catholic school, so I was not allowed to like express my you know, self like style wise. So like, I don't know what I would have worn in school because I wore a uniform every day, but like I painted my nails black. I listened to punk rock music. Like I wore like the choker thingy that is in now, though I still have one of those mm -hmm. black choker things. So like, 
like what I have been in anime club no but like I was obsessed with TV shows I was obsessed with One Tree Hill I was obsessed with Bones I was obsessed with Lost like I would like literally like sit in my notebook and write down like the episode titles of the shows when I was bored so like I don't know yes I did some cool things like I was on the dance team and whatever whatever, whatever. I would go to parties and stuff but I still think that like I don't I don't know if we would have dated but I'm not saying it's out of the question I don't think we would you know dated. that's my answer maybe we've been Tumblr friends though I Probably think Risha put <laughs> photos of us, me in high school, Gabby in high school, on the screen, and you down below vote if you think we would have dated in high school. There's so many questions on this Oprah list, by the way. If any of you guys are bored and you're in a relationship, just, I'll put the link down below. You can like ask each other, like literally. <laughs> like this question, would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? I have an answer. I would rather be a werewolf, and this is why. Even though werewolves like are less sexy in movies, like I get to be a full-on human being during the day, outside, in the sunlight, and then at night I run really fast. I don't want to be a vampire because I want to live forever. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> but you don't get sunlight. So? You wouldn't be depressed. I don't know. I'm going to get like, a, like a one of those sunset lamps. I'll You're going to get sunset lamps and be like, on. I'll be fine. You'll be the okay, wait, vampire. This is a good question. Who is your favorite couple in pop culture? Okay, I'm gonna say two things here. One, this is, the first one I'm gonna say is a real life couple that Gabby and I love, and that is Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick. Oh yeah, I love we them. We love <laughs> them, we're like obsessed with them. Also because like, she was obsessed with Kevin Bacon when she was little, and I was obsessed with Kira Sedgwick like when I was like a teenager, because I used to love the, the Closer, which was like her the TV show she was on. So we love both of them. But also, in terms of like movies, like the couple that we are the most like, is Vinny and Mona Lisa from My Cousin Vinny are literally me and Gabby, like to a T. Like if you watch that movie, you'll totally understand what we're talking about, about this be us being stubborn, the things that we argue about. Like that is literally <laughs> us. And also because we're both from New York and I'm 100% Italian, like that is literally me, like how I grew up, like everything. That is me. Yeah. And that, that couple is us. <laughs> yeah, like whenever Shanna and I watch that movie, like we're both literally dying because like the conversations that they have with each other are like literal, like it's like it's a reenactment of any conflict or conversation that Shanna and I have ever had. It's so, so, it's so funny. funny. Like that is the couple for sure that if you watch that movie, we are the most like. Like yes. it's like word, like word for word conversations we have had happen in that movie. Literally. And Shanna and I are like, like the conversation, like if you've seen the movie, like when they're talking about the sink and he's trying to fix the sink. Well, did you use the faucet? Yeah. Well, why don't you turn it off? I did turn it off. Well, if you turned it off, why am I listening to it? Does it ever occur to you it could be turned off and drip at the same time? That is literally like we've had that exact conversation the before. The whole conversation. It's so funny. Okay, I'm just gonna pick one more. There's like literally a hundred. There's more. Oh, there actually is only a hundred. Okay, there's a hundred questions on this list, so we just pick like randomly. Okay, last question. Do you believe in astrological compatibility? Um, I would say like Gabby and I are into like astrology and zodiac stuff, but we're not like super, super knowledgeable about it. Like we know the basics. Um, like for example, I'm a Taurus and I align myself with like some things about a Taurus, but like not everything. Um, and Gabby is like a true, true cancer. So I don't know. I feel like yes, but I wouldn't let it like dictate everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say yes. Like, but Shanna and my signs are actually, like Shanna's sign and my sign are actually super compatible for like romance and like long-term relationship. But at the same time, if like our signs weren't, I would not let that dictate my relationship. Yeah. Because like, I think that you know best if you're compatible or not. And you shouldn't just be like, oh my God, like you're a Libra, I'm never gonna date you. We need to break up right I'm now. I'm never gonna date a Gemini. And there are people that do that. So I think like get to know a person first. Yeah. And you know, because some people's personality and the zodiac sign isn't exactly 100% a match. You know, like you take something, leave something. Yeah. But anyway, so that was a really fun relationship Q&A. Thank you all so much for asking us questions. Um, hopefully you learned a little bit more about us and we thought doing a little Q&A for our six year anniversary would be fun. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you have any more questions about our relationship, feel free to ask us and we can answer in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll have another video for you all super, super soon. Um, we do new videos every single week. Um, we usually upload on Sundays, but I feel like sometimes we upload more than on Sundays or sometimes we don't. So just like subscribe to us and then you won't miss the video. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.